busy. When I was little, my mommy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Wooly had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mommy and daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. But my jigsaw, I said. Rush, rush, rush. We got into the car. Where's Wooly? Where's Wooly? Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. <coughs> Mummy picked up Wooly. Wooly was just doing your jigsaw. Wooly was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. See you later. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. The wheels went back on the car. Whiz! Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. Printing for a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, said Daddy. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Hi. Hiya. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking about? about? Yeah, Just I in could, a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. So. I drew a sun. Look, Mummy, a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawings? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. What's that, do you think? A roof. For a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. When the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willy. We've been Museum of Imagination. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willie came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new. But Timmy said the shiny things were old. 
That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars are in a traffic jam, and the lights turn green, vroom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. Vroom, <laughs> off they go. I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. Martin. Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. No That's car. a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's going to take off and fly around the room. Timmy said the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't want to go on the sailing ship. Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey, Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but sometimes Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. Mm -hmm. Timmy has a big, big imagination. And that's fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling. And trains don't fly. Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. So go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away, only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship, hey? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. And all the other spiders! I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willy. We've been dancing since we were three. Here we are. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willy came too. Not all. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had mummy called Anne. 
Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. And fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. Anne said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! I see you. Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not all the pink. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. A bit more? Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tink, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce, he's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big friendly teddy bear. Look at him, blink, and ting, he's a big friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting, Belle's daddy was a big friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie, no. he was scared. It's only a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Thank you so much. When Mum collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. We begin. First day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. Mm -hmm. Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. 
Rufus said he wanted to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I wanted fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. Are you too? OK, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then he sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. 
Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly. With green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like ours? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. It's only a spider. Then the waiter came back. <laughs> With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. You really like it. I like new food. You like that? It's all just Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Wow. At nursery school, I painted a big, big diplodocus. I gave my diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. OK, just bones. Just bones didn't sound very exciting, but I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my granddad. Let's get up these big steps. The dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur, said Grandad. Wow. Oh uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus. It was real. It was big. It was bigger than me. It was too big. I was scared. What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus 
Saturn Grandad! Hey Tig, big strange things are scary. But this big strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones, there's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur had come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar! It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Wooly. I don't smile. When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Wooly came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. Pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting's happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Tig, look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire liked my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, hey, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. <laughs> Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one was grumpy. I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, 
waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. We've been When I was little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willy. Willy came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought, having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought. A swimming pool on the roof. <laughs> Mummy put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready, okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue, and green, and white, and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses, but they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? said Mummy. I wasn't sure. Everything was all a bit strange. Daddy found some ice cream. Tig, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. We go in the telescope? Yeah. Don't we look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences. But that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 I go to new places, there's lots of new faces. On my holidays, 
The change is amazing, the sun can be blazing On the holidays I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting On the holidays La 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 And your treats and your meals that you eat On your holidays The view's ever-changing The palm trees are waving On your holidays New sounds and the smells And the ringing of bells tingling On your holidays You love all your holidays So different from every day On your holidays La 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello. I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the Gracias. best. We went for a swim on the roof. There were other children swimming too. The children said, hello. Hola. I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at some I like the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't understand what she said. Adios. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hello. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. There were lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said, hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. Yeah. La 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 la. I can have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. It's great. 
Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. Hola. Hola, said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, and laughing, and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet in fright. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. We've been together since we were wee. We've